नमस्कार ग्रेट मैन इंटरनेशनल स्कूल की ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूं कोविड 19 महामारी के इस दौर में मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि आपका परिवार पूरी तरह सुरक्षित है स्वस्थ है और बच्चों ने लॉकडाउन में बहुत एंजॉय किया है अब मैं आपका सपोर्ट चाहता हूं इस ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में बच्चों की शिक्षा को हम अब स्टार्ट करते हैं और बहुत ही जल्द जो भी आपका बैकलॉग है हम उसको क्लियर भी करेंगे और एक नए तरीके से आपकी शिक्षा अब स्टार्ट होने वाली है पेरेंट्स का हमें पूरा सपोर्ट चाहिए आप लोग पिछले दस सालों से लगातार हमें सपोर्ट करते आए हैं और मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि अगर हम और आप मिलकर चाहेंगे तो बच्चों की शिक्षा का कोई नुकसान नहीं होने वाला है और हमें और आपको मिलकर अब एक रीस्टार्ट करना है नाउ लेट्स रीस्टार्ट बेस्ट ऑफ लक नमस्कार हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज दिशा कृपलानी आई विल बी टीचिंग यू साइंस साइंस फॉर ग्रेट फाइव एंड चैप्टर वन इज प्लांट्स इंक्रीजिंग द नंबर plants play a major role in our life as it is the biggest source of food so what all are the things that we get from plants we get food from plants food like cereals pulses vegetables fruits these all things come from plants sugar oil wood fiber rubber gum tree these all things we obtain from plants plants supply us oxygen the life giving oxygen is being supplied by plants life on earth cannot be predicted without plants you know that na the next topic is new plants from the seeds so first we'll learn about what are the two types of seed and they are being classified according to the number of seed leaves present in the seed so first is monocot seed what is monocot seed some plants which have one seed leaf is called a monocot seed a mono uh, which all are the plants which have monocot seeds like wheat maize and rice the second is dicot seed dicot seed is the seed which has two seed leaves two seed leaves and some of the plants which have dicot seeds are grams peas and beans now look at this picture what does it tell there is one gram you can see a seed of a gram and it is being opened into two parts because it has two seed leaves and these two seed leaves are also called cotyledons okay and the upper part which is coming out of the seed is called tiny shoot which will turn into a plant and the lower part which is going downwards that is called tiny root as you can see in the picture next topic is seed germination what is the meaning of seed germination when a seed turns when a seed develops into a seedling means it is ready to give a plant it is called germination okay and what all are the things that is favorable for a seed to germinate what all are the things yes it is air water and sunlight without them we cannot uh, they, without them a seed cannot germinate so what all things are very much necessary for them it is air moisture means water and warmth warmth will they will get from sunlight and air what does air do air helps seed to breathe water makes the seed coat soft what is a seed coat a seed coat is the covering of a seed the covering of a seed is known as seed coat okay it is like a coat and the water helps the seed coat to become soft and warmth is needed for the cells to uh, cells of the seed to become active now you will see some uh, one another picture of stages stages of germination in this picture what you can see a seed is being germinated and a plant is coming out of it 
you can see two roots coming out of it a tiny root is the one that goes downside okay and a tiny shoot is one that goes upside and makes and become a plant now next topic is dispersal of seed the word dispersal means spreading so dispers dispersal of seed means spreading of the seed from the parent plant and there are some agents which take that seed away from the parent plant what are those agents the agents are wind water animals and explosion of fruit first we'll see how wind helps the seed to go from one place to another as you can see in the picture there is a cotton seed a madar seed and a hiptic seed these seeds are very light in weight that's why they flow with the wind and go from one place to another okay second is seeds dispersed by water you can see in the picture there is a seed of lotus and a coconut lotus seed has a sponge part and coconut has a fibrous outer covering that enable both of them to float on water that's why they float they can float on water and they can be dispersed from one place to another next is seed dispersed by animals or humans as humans throw away some of the seed when you eat something you throw away the seeds of it sometimes they get the favorable conditions and they grow into a new plant same as animals also carry seeds with them you can see in the figure xanthium seed tiger nail seed with the hooks and spear grass with the spines they are being stuck with the animals and they are being carried away by them from their away from their parent plants and next is seeds dispersed by explosion some fruits like peas okay in a pod it it is being burst and explode okay and the force of explosion helps them to scatter from the place it is being scattered is it is being spread from their parent plants so these were the different agents of dispersal of seed now we are going to read about how we can make a plant from the other parts of the plant a new plant from other parts of the plant in the first picture what you can see a potato a new plant for potato can be made from the bud of a potato have you noticed that a potato have you noticed a potato with a yellow type thing coming out of it it is called bud or eye of a potato if we'll take this potato and if uh, we will bury this potato in the ground a new plant of potato can come so a bud potato can be used to grow a new plant second is sweet potato a new plant can grow from the roots of sweet potato next is rose some plants like rose sugar cane and hibiscus they can grow from stem cutting okay we can cut a stem of it and we can uh, grow it some other at some other place and a plant of a biophyllum can be grown through its leaves okay so next topic is crops and vegetables there are different types of crops and vegetables and are being grown in different seasons so we are going to learn about crops first there are two types of crops that are being classified according to the season first is a rabi crop and second is kharif crop rabi crops are the crops that are grown from november to april okay and kharif crops are the crops that are being grown from june to october what are examples of some of the rabi crops are wheat gram these two uh, these are the examples of rabi crop and crops like rice maize jowar bajra these are kharif crops okay now the classification of vegetables is also there according to the seasons you might have seen some of the vegetables coming in summer but not coming in winter so which all are the vegetables that comes in summer vegetables like brinjal pumpkin gourd these are seasonal summer vegetables and 
vegetables like cabbage cauliflower radish bean pea these peas these are only vegetables that we can see in the winter now different plants grow in different places yes they require different uh, climate but they require different kinds of soil also so according to the classification of soil we will see which soil is better for which crop okay so you can see a uh, uh, you can see in the figure that rice and jute grow in clayey soil they need clayey soil because clayey soil holds plenty of water okay and this is being uh, this can be found in the places in around the places of west bengal next is wheat wheat is always grown in sandy soil and it can be grown in the irrigated soil of punjab and uttar pradesh jowar and bajra is grown in sandy soil of rajasthan cotton grows well in black soil of central and western india tea needs moist soil and it it grows on the slopes of hilly areas like uh, assam the nilgiris darjeeling and coconut trees grow in coastal areas like kerala and goa and maize needs dry soil to grow and it is being grown in plains or hills and onion and groundnut needs well drained sandy soil okay so next topic is agriculture what do you understand by agriculture agriculture is the process of growing crops in a large scale as you can see in the definition the prop practice of growing plants on a large scale to feed entire population of the country is called agriculture okay for good or healthy crop some basic points are necessary we can see those points first is use healthy and ripe seeds for sowing prepare the soil properly the soil should be prepared properly before sowing the seeds add manure or fertilizer to the soil irrigate the soil and use insecticides and pesticides now what are insecticides and pesticides insecticides and pesticides are the chemicals which are used to kill insects and pests which which can destroy the fields okay now we we'll learn about how to store the crops so these are some of the points in which we we'll learn how to protect and store the crop to protect the crop we should protect them against grazing animal like cows and goats pests like locusts grasshoppers and caterpillars can be killed through pesticides we can use pesticides and the we should protect the crop from diseases bigger animals can also be kept away by uh, uh, applying proper fencing around the fields okay and after harvesting grains need to be protected against moisture there should be no water content around the crops or the crops will be destroyed we can keep them away from rats moles birds squirrels and insects or if and we can also store them in a air tight container okay so what all what things what things you have understood with this chapter that plant like is a living thing also need love and care like us okay and a good crop adds wealth wealth to the country so take care of it okay so this was the end of the chapter you must have learned you must have understood the chapter fully if you have any doubt in the topics you can comment in the comment section down and uh, assignment is being given related to the topics which we have discussed today uh, exercise answers of the exercises and uh, question answers you can also find that in the description box let us know if you like the video please comment down and uh, you are at home be safe stay at home take care of yourself wash your hands again and again thank you